Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, downtown Capitan, New Mexico, in my 16-foot luxurious RV at Mama Bear RV Park. And it's pretty cool here this morning. Hey Google, what is the time and date? It is 6.45 a.m., the 17th of May, 2018. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? In Capitan, it's currently 55. Feels cooler than that. I got the heater on. That noise you hear is my little electric heater, if you hear it. <clears throat> and what else? Hey Google, what's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? <clears throat> the temperature in Kingsland right now is 72. So it's 17 degrees cooler here than my home base in Texas, so that's good. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor right now, it's 54. Same as here. So you guys, I know how you feel. <laughs> what else? Uh, hey Google, tell us a joke. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Oh yeah. Hey Google, tell us another joke. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. <laughs> I know, I heard that one. This is a book that was sent to me by Ryan and Ryan, I haven't done mail call on this book yet, so it's, it hasn't been in the bucket of honor yet, I don't think. But anyway, <clears throat> it says, a man calls his wife into the bedroom. I want to show you the new watch I got today. She goes in, finds him with his pants down. That's not a watch. She says, it will, it will, be, it will be once you put your hands, put your two hands and face on it. I don't know about that one. My wife has a contract to give lectures. It's called a marriage license. Uh, in the first year of marriage, the man speaks and the woman listens. In the second year, the woman speaks and the man listens. In the third year, they both speak to the, speak and the neighbors listen. Very funny. These jokes are by, it's, the name of the book is, it's by Adam Smith. <clears throat> and I need to do a mail call and put that in the bucket of honor. But anyway, guys, Got a lot of comments here related to RVing life and stuff. Yeah, living in an RV park is pretty fascinating. It's okay. I mean, you don't even notice. It's it's like, uh, well, it's kind of like my home base in the sense that I've got a full hookup, and then outside of that, it ain't. <laughs> you don't have any. You don't have much privacy. In other words, you don't do a lot of sitting out. I mean, I could. You know, I do have a spot here behind my RV, but. You know, it, it's okay. It, it, it's working out fine. I like the little town, and I can do a lot. Of, I, you know, instead of walking once or twice a day, like I did at my home base, but of course, you can't even do that now in Texas because it's too hot. <clears throat> anyway, this is DJ Lord Buck, Walking Capitan. Well, that's nice. little quick video of nature, Rusty. Makes me smile. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, DJ. John Mayer, how's the water, Rusty? It's okay. I, I don't drink it. Uh, I, I, I get uh, gallon jugs and refill them, and uh, yeah, but as far as showering and washing dishes and flushing the toilet, it's okay. No problem, John. Martha in Maine, I used the link two days ago, Rusty. Thank you, Martha in Maine, and for those of you that have used the Amazon link and bought stuff, thumbs up to you. I do appreciate it, and for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I have a link. to I'm an Amazon affiliate. I have a link to Amazon products that I've put in every video I do in the description <clears throat> and if you use it I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you a dime so if you choose to use it fine if you don't want to fool with it don't no problemo art you may have covered this already but is arrow pre-wired for cable uh, yeah it, it's pre-wired but you know, they got the TV sitting over there where I do my cooking stuff I mean the, the, the cable thing if not, I hope they do a really reusable install for you. Uh, no, they've got one. It's hooked up for cable. <clears throat> Mechanic 51, all good info, Rusty. Looks like you found a good fit for your lifestyle. And I agree that Texas has four to five months of extreme humidity and heat. That's worth the temporary relocation. Thumbs up. Yeah, you're right. It, it, it is. It is to me, and that's all that matters. But... <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm planning ahead. I'm just thinking, you know, about the future and and how I want to live, you know, because, uh, you know, I don't want to be, I don't know, I just, I, I want to be able to live a good life till I finish, I guess. <clears throat> Rick and Amy Clark, there's nothing wrong with being comfortable, and it looks like you found you a nice spot to hang out for a while. Have a good night, Rusty. No, there's nothing wrong with being comfortable at all. Jeff Foster, hi Rusty, Guten Tag. Well, Guten Tag to you, V Gates. Uh, PJ Biker, full 2018 Coachman Clipper Cadet. He's got a link to the Clipper Cadet. Thank you, PJ. And he's also got a link to Mama Bear RV Park. Thank you, PJ. You're good at those links, and I appreciate it because it helps everybody. And then Mike Cox posted a comment and got a, got a lot of comments. <clears throat> He says, you make some really good points. At 65 years old, I want comfort as well. Summers in central Arkansas, like central Texas, can be brutal. Hell, I'm ready for fall already. Yeah, I hear you. It's already in the mid-90s in my home base <clears throat> in Texas, around Kingsland, Texas. PJ Bikerful left a link to freecampsites.net. Thank you. Mike Butterfield. No phone, no pool, no pets. I ain't got no cigarettes. Yeah, that was a good song. Two hours of push and broom. <laughs> Buys a ride with Sonya. Hello. Oh, Rondon, thank you. But be bold in 7-Eleven. How well does the 5,000 BTU AC work in your trailer? Works great. It's reasonably quiet, about as quiet as a window AC can be. And uh, it cools it fine. I've got it on... Uh, about uh, the lowest cooling site level it's got, and it keeps it very comfortable. <clears throat> I only run it about four hours a day here, from about two till six, and then it's off. Deal Rogers, Rusty, how'd you end up finding, stopping at this town? Were you just looking for an RV park close to the last one and it happened to be Capitan? No, I'd been through here several times before, and I'd seen the, the little town, been to the grocery store, and checked out a few things and this time when I was over at uh, Valley of the Fire State Park which is about 25 miles away approximately I drove over here a couple of times and checked it out <clears throat> they didn't have a space available so that's why I went to the other RV park and then I waited till this spot became available no they don't have a spot right now at all they're full as far as I know uh, Bill K greetings from Mule Deer way up here in Meridian Idaho okay how you doing Bill K <clears throat> Tracy Phillips, Rusty, you're a good speaker. You could get your audience you can get your audience attention and keep them interested. Great video. Well I don't it's just it, it's just me talking guys. <clears throat> Rocomo one, one of the things about traveling around the country is enjoying where you are at the time. Yeah, you kinda kinda it, it's hard to live in the moment or live it, it, it now. You know, everybody's living either in the past or the future, you know, it's kind of hard to get right in the now, you know. <clears throat> Brenda Coetta, very good perspective on RV park. It seems to work for you. Glad you found it, especially to walk and feel safe about it. Privacy is something in RV parks that will be a trade-off. Yeah, that's pretty much everywhere you go. You know, I just don't really like the ones, you know, where there's a whole row of RVs and you got to squeeze in there between them. Those, I, I won't stay at at all. No, it, it, it ain't, that ain't for me. It just so happened that the two RV parks I've stayed at, I didn't have to do that. And, and I like this spot because it's by itself. <clears throat> Dr. Dan, I know you have cable coming, but, and then he says, if you use unsecured Wi-Fi, I would recommend using a downloadable VPN virtual private network. Yeah, I've read about those. <clears throat> But I'm going to be using cable, so I don't need to worry about that. But if anybody's interested in what VPNs are, he's got some good inf information there, Dr. Dan. Uh, Nancy Wolf, I used your Amazon link yesterday, Rusty. Good video. Thank you, Nancy Wolf. I appreciate you using the Amazon link and all you other guys that have done the same thing. I appreciate it. Gail Resources, is your former P.O. Box the address to use for you? No. As Rondlin 100 carefully pointed out, she's so on the ball. It is P.O. Just send it to Rusty, and you can use my initial. Just put Rusty S. Uh, P.O. Box 1501, Capitan, New Mexico 88316. Yeah. 
it says what was the prefix well if you're going to send packages they recommend sending it to unit number 1501 instead of box because some uh, some companies don't deliver to p.o boxes but if you put unit number they will deliver to unit number 1501 and the p.o box a post office here knows it well they're the one that told me about it okay <clears throat> jazz man I sure like your take on life, Rusty, another fine vid. But if you're gonna send something, just remember I live in a 16-foot RV, so I can't I can't collect a lot of stuff, okay? You know? <clears throat> uh, but I do appreciate the thoughts. It says, I sure like your take on life, Rusty, another fine vid, thank you. Roy Vinoy, uh, this is your best video yet on the RV uh, park life, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I, thank you. Uh, Mike Donner, hey, Rusty, got a question for you i noticed a while back you stayed in coconino arizona national forest and i was wondering your thoughts on arizona compared to new mexico is there a reason you wouldn't park yourself in arizona i asked because i live in coconino near pine in the house and have loaded out my truck for travel camping and with the intent to explore arizona first <clears throat> no I've, I've stayed a few places in arizona south you know in y around yuma and Quartzsite, <clears throat> and in the Coconina Park, and so forth, and Flagstaff, <clears throat> they're all neat. Uh, it just so happened I, I like New Mexico a little better, that's all. It, it's just personal preference. They're both pretty. <clears throat> uh, Paul Harrington, I think it's great. I would love it. At $185 a month, $6 a night, where I live, the cheap RV parks get you thugs and gangbangers all over. You have a brand new place to live, Arrow, and at an affordable cost, and conveniences abound. In the true sense of life, that is rich life. Well done. Yeah, it, I agree with you, Paul. Uh, it's so far good. You know, it's good. And uh, but you know, I, I wished. I say I wish. You, know, you can't have everything. But uh, you know, <clears throat> the winters I don't know about. That's the thing that concerns me as far as living here year round. The winters give me a little concern. Mike, can, Mike, thank you, uh, Paul. Mike Butterfield, latest count in, there are 35 moose in Nevada up near Idaho border. Okay. Danny B, 1954. <clears throat> uh, it says, ask the wife in installer about dis disabling the Wi-Fi if you only use it inside the RV being radiated by the shortwave frequencies in a small space may not be the best long-term health. <clears throat> Uh, you use it for an hour, it, but it cooks you for the other 23. He's got a link to something. Yeah, you got that's a good point, but I think you, you can power it off. Now, I don't know what happens. I don't know if it's really off or not. Uh, this is Dreaming. Uh, good info, Rusty. Thank you. Uh, Bianca, good night. Good seeing you, Rusty. Well, good hearing from you, Bianca. And then, Bianca, good night again. Uh, like the sweatshirt on the point. Still cool. In California summer is taking its time perfect joke but so true they forgot to bring a sandwich lol very good Bianca thank you Mike Brandenburg <clears throat> dusty rusty got tired of eating dust and taking stinky showers I'm glad you found this place for only $185 a month and say hi to mama by the way uh, talking about he said something about silicone earplugs yeah <clears throat> there's not any noise here. I, I'm not, there's no noise at all. Thank you, though, Mike. Deal, Rogers. At this age, I've got enough natural discomfort. Okay, yeah, that's me saying that. God, you crack me up, Rusty. Well, it's true. You, the older you get, you know, I remember George Burns, if anybody remembers him. He wrote a book, and I read it. He wrote several books, actually, and they're funny. <clears throat> but anyway, one of them, he said that, uh, you know, you're growing older when you get out of bed, and you feel like you've got a hangover. And you didn't have anything to drink the night before. Anyway, Kevin Conway, uh, this is on RVing at RV Park. Seven dollars a day ain't bad. Uh, close to most things you need. High elevation, but not too high. Low humidity. I'm thinking a month in Capitan might be just what the doctor ordered. Well, you know, Kevin, it is nice here. I got to tell you, in my opinion. Uh, Paul Shalosky. Out of curiosity, I checked RV parks in my area in Rhode Road in Rhode Island. RV parks run 800 to 1200 a month. Uh, in California, I hear they do too. I don't know that, but yeah, it, 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 you know, it's it's ridiculous, you know. <clears throat> but you know, what do you do? You know, you look if for people that are 
you know, can't afford to pay $2,000 a month rent, you know, they don't have many options, but, you know, our system isn't geared for that. Our system is a capitalist system, and it's, that's a for-profit system, and so if you can get it, you get it. Desiree LaMarche, I love listening to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Mike Butterfield, my, Rusty here in Hawthorne, Nevada. We're very proud of our one stoplight and our army tank on Main Street. Well, good for you, Mike. <clears throat> Ken Admac, Amac. Anyway, Dr. Dan Below recommends VPN, and he goes on to talk about it. Yeah, he talks about the Opera browser and some other things. Just use that browser once you have it set up. Anyway, thank you, Ken Amac. That's a good comment, so y'all guys can check it out. He's got a lot of information there. Traveling with Rick, Rusty, you always seem to have talks that hit home to many people, <clears throat> like me, especially the last part about getting caught up in other people's misery, then feeling as them. No more. My dad is the is is the hard of hearing guy with the TV blasting at 3 a.m. LOL. No, I, believe me, man. Uh, you know, then you, you, you can get caught up in other people's problems, and and you then you feel bad. <clears throat> Roger St. Martin. Uh, we have some white-tailed deer. Sometimes I can hear them walking in small, in a small patch of wood. You would swear that King Kong was coming at you. They are not light on their feet or hooves. <clears throat> yeah, I had white-tailed deer. I got it all around my home base, and they, they're like pets. John Gertbach, lovely wildlife right outside your door. Awesome. Yeah, when you're walking the streets here, you see a lot of uh, uh, mule deer. Uh, retirement to 2011. Hi, Rusty. Great video. I use my RV full time while traveling for work. A clean, quiet RV with space is very hard to find. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, I know. I traveled working too, and yeah, it wasn't much fun. <clears throat> Every now and then I'd get a good one, but you know, it's 50 50. Janice Peck, ex excellent video, full of very helpful tips for every age group. Very glad you're, you're comfortable at present at Mama Bear's. Hmm, good to hear a couple of fans stop by to visit. Yeah, I, I was glad to see them. Enjoy New Mexico base and great temps, low humidity. Adios for now. Yeah, right now where I am is fine. Wayman Simang has got two comments here. I'm, I'm glad you're getting good internet tomorrow. Cool. It was sure hot today in South Texas. I hear you. Wish I was up there. Looks like a great little town you were at. I would give the winner a try there. Maybe might be great. Have a good day, Rusty. I, I may. I'm not going to say I'm not. Felt like July today at Canyon Lake. Way too early to be this hot. Yeah, I've been watching the temperatures pretty closely, Wayman, and I, I ain't liking it. <clears throat> well, I'm liking it in the sense that I'm here, but I'm not liking it in the sense that I may be there full time one of these days. Charlotte Herring, sounds like you have found your happy spot. Would love more videos of interviews with the locals. Well, you know, I, I don't like to do that. If they volunteer, that's fine. But, you know, th this is a small town, and you don't want to, you don't want to knock the top off of a fire ant bed. Okay. Uh, laddie boy, smile, funny but realistic. This is camping in a Prius. Yeah, that was funny. All right. Uh, Mary, the candle mom, on the RV park. I'm fairly new to watching your channel. And one, how did you find your travel trailer at a bargain? We like the Lance 1575 because it's just right for two people, but I don't want to pay full price. And what does Rusty 78609, what does 78609 stand for? Well, 78609 was the zip code of the post office I was using at the time I started my channel. That's the big, that's how well thought out that was. <clears throat> as far as uh, how do you find a trailer at a bargain? Uh, well, you, you just, it depends. Now, you see, if, if, if the Lance 1575 is a popular RV, they are not going to deal with you because they know they've got five or ten of those on the lot and they can sell them. However, if they've been sitting there for a long time, then you can make offers and maybe get a better price. But if it's a good seller, they're not moving. Uh, go, go, golf or nut fishing, uh, RVing, <clears throat> event fan. It says, my motor home didn't come with a fan, so I don't have wiring. Can I use the interior seating lights, wires, splice for both the new fan while keeping the interior lights? Or is, or is that overloading the wires, which was only meant for the lights? That's something you're going to have to ask a <clears throat> RV tech about, because I'm not sure. In my opinion, assumptions mother of all mistakes, so I assume you could, because I was told I could. 
you know, even though, in fact, my my mine is hooked to the light in the in the bathroom of my RV, <clears throat> my fan. It doesn't cause any problems at all, or it hasn't. <clears throat> Jim Bannon on Elio Motors left a comment, uh, a lot of info there. Uh, Phil Chavez, there goes the neighborhood, property taxes go up when outsiders come in with ideas. <laughs> Could be, yeah, oh, Alto, the property taxes may go up. Uh, one drummer, Airstream, one and done, high resale value, yeah, but you pay, it, you pay the price up front though, don't you? Uh, Nestor Munoz. I'm thinking about buying a 2018 Prius C, but it seems much smaller than the older models. Do you know if if I could do a sleeping setup in that in, in it? Thanks. Uh, well, I don't know, uh, uh, Nestor. Uh, that's something you'll just have to check out. I don't know how tall you are, how wide you are, or anything like that. But I mean, lay down in it and see what you think. Put the seats down and lay down. Uh, Deborah Fry, thanks Rusty, RVing life in the park, you're very welcome, and that's all folks, yabba dabba do. And anyway, what else? Uh, <clears throat> hey Google, tell us a joke. The right eye said to the left eye, between you and me, something smells. <laughs> anyway guys, that's pretty weak, but anyway, having said that guys, from Capitan RV Park, Mama Bear RV Park in Capitan, New Mexico, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpet damn adios. Bye bye. Buy anything your little heart desires anytime you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my video. I sincerely appreciate it. Some of you have and some of you are. Thank you very much. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. In fact, it's necessary out here in, in the drier climate. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight if that's what you need or want to do. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Hold it for a few seconds, then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that lowers your stress and that lowers your blood pressure. That's very good for you. What else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk, walk, walk. Keep your body in motion. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Do that two or three times during the day. If you think about it, you'll feel better. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside your head. You know, the talk show host, the, the talking heads on TV, uh, neighbors gossiping uh, or whoever wants to come up and dump, dump a load of crap in your mind you don't have to listen to that folks you can say look hey man I know how you feel I felt the same way but harsh manure is selling for a thousand dollars a pound you know change it just tough you just move on you'll change the subject but anyway thumbs up guys adios amigos bye bye